Hello, good morning, and welcome to another episode of Singapore in Podcast. And in today's episode, we'll be talking about this guy right here behind me, the Toyota Sienta 1.5 G LED Dual Power Door Sense C LED. Quite a mouthful, I know, but let's go. All right, so right in front of us, we have the new facelift 2020 Toyota Sienta. Uh, a few things have been done to the uh, outlook of the car, I would say. We have new front grille, make it look a lot sportier compared to the previous model. New headlamps, along with the uh, Sienta badge right on the side here. Quite cool, I feel. Here we go. What do you guys feel? Leave a comment below and see if the facelift model really looks quite cool, nicer, sportier compared to the previous model. And this is the back page show of the car. Here we go. Update the tail lamps. Sienta right here. So that you'll never forget what you're driving. And also the new color palette from uh, Toyota. Now I'm not too sure if the camera is doing the color justice. Um, might look a little bit different from what you see on the video. It's actually quite a nice metallic turquoise color. I don't know if the camera can pick this up. Yeah, here you go. Alright, so here we come to the uh, driver's cockpit. Nothing much has changed here. Uh, it's pretty much quite familiar for you who has been driving Sientas or those who have had a look at one from the previous uh, facelift. We still have the orange accent running along the dashboards, steering wheel, and of course the very famous orange compartment for Sientas. Still the same. Cuppy holders right here. And cuppy holder right here for the front driver. Still have your auto side doors open and close button here. So let's have a try. Here we go. Now of course you still can open automatically from the handle, the button on the handle and also from the remote controller. So here is the uh, middle section where you will be placing most of your passengers most of the time and here is the a look at the uh, rear seats so the seat still falls as the same uh, pull up on the lever the seats fold forward I'll demonstrate that to you guys in a bit now let's see what kind of uh, leg room, head room and space we have on the middle row seats so getting in on the in the car, it's really quite easy. Very low space for the legs to enter. I've got good sitting space, good leg room here, head room here. And I still can adjust the seats forward and backwards. This is the maximum I can go. Let's say if there's no one behind me. Now getting to the back row seats is also quite simple. It's as simple as Pulling up on this lever, shifting the seats forward. Now, as you can see, we have a lot of space right here for you to get into the back seat. Let's go. All right, I hope this helps. Um, I'm not too sure if you guys can see quite clearly. I really do apologize I'm doing this video alone. So, right the back seats, right here. So, you can see my legs. It's not as bad. Now, the front seats are really a bit backwards, as you can see in the space in between here. So the front row, front row guys, still sitting quite comfortably, and I'm quite comfortable in the back really. Um, legs are not too obstructed, right here, and my feet can actually go under the seats in front. Which is a big plus point that most uh, compact MPVs are unable to provide. Now getting out of the car from the back row seats is also quite simple. All you have to do, pull on this lever, the seats automatically falls forward. 
Now, let's have a look at the boot space of the car. Now, for those of you who watched my previous video, you know there's something special about this unit right here. Auto tailgate. Something that's not common in most Sienta. Okay, so here we go. This is the boot space, how it looks like if you have uh, all seven seats utilized. You still have a wee bit of space for you to put some small luggage on a short trip. Well, actually, on a long trip down on North South Highway. I'm pretty sure this space would suffice, but you have to sacrifice a bit on the shopping, huh? But it's still not too bad. However, if you still need more space, there's a couple of configurations that you could do. As you can see, front row seats is already knocked down. You can knock this seat down. And here you go. More boot space. Now you can have it in this configuration. It becomes a six-seater car. So you can have one passenger sitting right here, three in the front, and you still have room to keep your luggages or whatever you may need, your shopping and stuff. Now, if you do need more boot space uh, to fit in large, long, tall, bulky items into the boot of your car, you can have your boot extended in such, in which you have both seats folded down from the rear and the two center row seats folded up. This will come in handy if you have a trip down to IKEA where you need to buy new furnitures. I don't know, bed frames, beds, mattresses. Use your imagination. You have the space. So now let's close up the boot of the Sienta to have a look inside. I believe many of you have been looking and wondering what is this right here? So let's get to that in a bit. But first, let's close up the boot. The auto tailgate function, which you can close from the boot of the car right here. There we have it. So, let's move into the interior. Alright, so now, start out with the car. Pretty much the same. Start button right here. And you have that also famous hello and welcome from the instrument panel. Right here, we have already fitted one of our head units. Uh, it's a Nakamichi head unit. It does come with uh, Apple CarPlay and Google Android Play. Pre-installed. Okay, let's mute that. Quite a basic unit. Let's go to home. Bluetooth connection, all the things that you would expect from a head unit from the car, and reverse camera. So now let's get to the part where you've been wondering what is that thing that is on the roof of the car? Alright, so there you have it, a rear aircon blower mounted onto the roof of the car. So we've heard all of uh, your comments about the Sienta not having a rear blower. As you can see, nothing on the sides of the car, no blowers. So we have an external unit fitted right here. It comes with uh, two speeds, one and two. That's number one. Off. Number two. Alright, I know there's a bit of a sound coming out from the blower, but you can hear it, that's because we do not have the radio on, so basically it's on mute. So once you have some music going on, driving on the road, I can assure you, this right here is quiet, and it gives your rear passenger comfort from the air blower right here. Alright, so there you have it, another episode of Singapore in Podcast, with today's star of the show, the Toyota Sienta, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what are the other models or mix that you would like me to review on. And also, I'll put a link in the description below uh, to our Facebook page. There you can have a look at uh, some of the promotions that we are running, especially on this guy right here. Uh, we are running a current promotion on the car, so leave a like, Facebook page, the video, uh, leave a comment. Visit the page, that's where all you get the information from uh, of the promotion on the car. And uh, also just let you guys know that the promotions are strictly only for sale in Singapore. So there you have it. Thank you very much. We'll be, see you again.